morning. My name is Deb Raber. I'm the women's soccer coach at MCLA in North Adams, Massachusetts. Um, and it's my third year, I believe, here. And I just, I can't say enough about the awesome job that CDYSL does to host this every single year and making this a resource for all the coaches in the Capital District. I think it's absolutely incredible that this happens because you don't see this in a lot of places. So welcome, you guys. Thanks for taking the time to be here because it's your, you, you guys taking the time to learn and to like expand your horizons and whatnot is only just going to benefit these guys right here. All right. And that's the most important thing, is that we keep getting educated no matter how long we've been in the game, keep getting educated, keep picking something up from someone, no matter how old, young the coach is, pick up something from them, because it's just going to benefit these guys in the long run. So also, what's the number one reason why kids play? Why do you play? Um, so I can get better at soccer. What else? Um, why do you play? To have fun. Thank you. Why do you play? To have fun. Why do you play? Uh, to get exercise. To get exercise. Have fun. To have fun. To have fun. To have fun. All right. So the majority of kids play to have fun, right? What's the number one reason why kids stop playing? It's not fun anymore. Okay. So, yeah, I coach on the college level, but the job, the most important coach, is not me. It's you. It's you guys. It's the ones that work with these little ones to instill fun. Because the number one reason why they stop playing is no longer fun. Okay? So if you can instill the love of the game early and instill fun of the game early, that's going to go a long way. If it becomes a job at U10, it's not going to last. They're not going to make it to middle school, high school, college. Okay, so the most important coach in the room right now, are you guys, and, the, and of course the game. But instill the love and the fun of the game. All right, you guys ready to go? Yeah, you sure? All right, now here's what I need for you guys to do. Come on, we're all one big team. Let's go. We're all one big group. Your parents graciously brought you here this early in the morning. We've got to get you guys going. I need for you guys to find a color, a different color. Go. Ready, go. Y'all are wearing blue. I need you to find red. Go ahead. What are, we, are we two different teams? We're one big group. Find someone new. Go ahead. Blue, find a red player. Go ahead. And then what I need for you to do is get a ball. Blue with a red. Go. All right. So, kids today, where do they spend most of their time? Video games, right? Where are their heads most of the time? down here. How about you look each other in the face and say, hi, my name is, what's your name? Simon. Hi, Simon. I'm Deb. Nice to meet you. Can you guys do that? Find someone in blue. Go. Thank you. You two are now partners. Go get a ball. You two know each other? Get a ball. Do you two know each other? Did you find someone, Simon? Find someone. What's his name? Okay, good. You and Mason. Go get a ball. What's your name? Madeline. Madeline. Did you find someone? What's your name? Jacob. Good. Madeline. Jacob. Go get a ball. You guys are partners. You guys figure it out? Okay. Go get a ball. Did you do get a ball? Go ahead. Come on over here. It's okay. What's his name? Go get a ball. You two together? Go get a ball. You're going to be my, you're going to be tripling up. All right. Go ahead. Get a ball. All right, you guys. So we're going to use the whole basketball court. So come on out here. Come on, this is like my lesson in herding cats. You guys, the whole basketball court, not the end line. All right, so here's what I want. Wait, you guys have gravitated back to your teammates and the people you feel comfortable with, right? All right, now, here's what I want you to do. Using the entire basketball court, you have to dribble around and pass with your partner. There is a group of three. Where's my, there you are. You're going to be with these guys, OK? All right, so group of three, stay with your partner. You ready? Go ahead. Dribble around, pass. Two touches, pass. And you can move all over the place. This, this little part of the court hasn't been touched yet. I haven't seen anything down here. Stay in your partner right now. 
Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you, sir. Keep going. Stud. All right, you ready? Hold up. Find your partner real quick. Find your partner. If you don't know their name, what's your name? Introduce yourself. Where are you from? Where do you go to school? Where's your partner? Go find your partner. Hi, my name is. Not looking at their shoes. I don't want you to know what kind of shoes they have by the end. I want you to know what their face looks like. You guys know where each other goes to school? Yes. Oh, very nice job, sir. No, don't leave me hanging. Thank you. All right, you guys know where each other is from? All right, dribble around again, pass and move. Go ahead, pass and move, and then we'll make it a little bit harder on you. Go find another spot. If you haven't ventured over in front of the bleachers, go say hi to someone over on the bleachers. Good, way to get that head up. Nice job, sir. I like it. Keep going, keep going. All right, and hold up. Now, here's what's going to happen. All right, if you're, on, if you're in red, okay, you are no longer with your partner. So if you're with red, you have to find someone in blue and pass it to a blue player, a new blue player, not the one you've just been working with. If you're in blue, you've got to find someone in red to pass it to. Are we good like that? We understand. All right, you sure? Now you've got, you got to learn everyone's name in the room. Ready, go ahead, see what you can do. Go ahead. Wow, this just became a lot different. We're too much standing around. What's his name? Hey, you guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't just walk around, hey, hey, listen. You can't just walk around going, hi, oh, I wonder who he is. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna ignore you. I don't know who you are, I'm really gonna ignore you. Instead, if I have the ball on my foot, okay, what's your name? Carter. Carter. There you go. Now Carter knows the ball is coming to him. What's wrong with just looking at someone and saying, I don't know your name? What's your name? Jacob. Uh, it's not this. Is your name Jacob? Okay, so you don't know? Okay. So now Carter knows Jacob. We getting some names in here? All right, go ahead. Play. Because guess what, you guys? Some go ahead, find someone else. Go ahead, find someone else. Who's that pass to? I know you're, is it? Yeah. You sure? No. Okay. Keep going. What's his name? Kate. Good. Who you got? Go ahead, find someone else. Go ahead, find someone else. Keep dribbling until, all right, now hold. So you guys, in the course of a game, right? So if we're dribbling, have you guys ever played in an environment that's so loud you can't hire the person next to you? Yeah? Do you guys know the most successful team in U.S. soccer right now? No. Take a guess. Huh? <laughs> Very good job. All right, so one of the most successful teams in U.S. soccer right now is the deaf national team. Right? So how do they communicate? How? Okay, what's another way? Their body language. Thank you. So if I'm working with you, which is, and you came to the goalkeeper clinic I did, but what's your name? I'm sorry, there was 50 of you there. How many? What? Thank you. So now, Andrew, am I ready to receive a pass? Okay, am I ready to receive a pass from you, Andrew? No. Should you give me the ball, Andrew? Because where am I looking? Not at, Not at you, right? Am I ready to receive a pass? Right, so Andrew and I have just made eye contact. Does Andrew need to say anything? It's nice if he does, but if I'm playing in front of a huge crowd or your parents are screaming on the sidelines and you can't hear them, then right now I know, Andrew, I can work with you. So yes, Andrew here. Okay, thank you, Andrew. All right, so again, there's a lot of those visual cues that if I square up and I face you, now I know, right? So we don't know everyone's name in here, correct? Right, and that's, and that's okay. It's going to happen. You're going to go to tryouts and you're not going to know everyone's name. But if I do this and I show, yeah. 
I make Andrew look pretty smart, don't I? Okay. So we talk about passing a lot. How about the receiving section? I got to do I got to do what's right by Andrew. All right. So go ahead and try that again. Body positioning, face the person you're receiving, eye contact, find someone else. Get your head up and look around. Who can we find? Andrew, if you, and do we keep the ball moving? Yeah, keep the ball moving. So if you can't find a pass, what do you do? Dribble. If you can't find a pass, what do you do? Dribble. Go ahead. Make eye contact with someone. Did you see her or did you just give her the ball? Yeah, there you go. Come on, dribble. Dribble if you can't find someone. Dribble. Go find someone else. You can't play it back to the person who played it to you, Andrew. It's okay. Keep going. Okay, hold up. Now, these guys right here, they just brought up a good point. They said, we don't have a ball. So what do you do? You find someone who has one, right? So now I'm like, okay, wait. I don't see a ball. Now I'm here. Yeah, give me a ball. And now I can go play. And then I dribble on. And then where do I find someone? Eye contact. Eye contact. Eye contact. <laughs> Eye contact with me. Now I can pass you the ball. Got it? You guys good? Go ahead, play. So go find someone. Don't wait for the world to come to you. Go get it. Lessons of life in sport. Right? All right, we're almost done with this part. Can we find people? And I don't know if you guys are, hey, you guys, what happened to this side of the floor? Everyone over here showered this morning. You can be over here too. Come on over, move around. Come on, who do you see? Yes, good, now dribble on. Who do you see? Do you see anyone? Yeah, that's brilliant. Oh, I love that, that's fantastic. Who do you see? Whoop, keep going. I see a ball over here that has no friends. Good. See, you found a ball. Nice job. Who is that going to? Did you make eye contact with them? No, there's both of them, so they're very confused as to who it's going to. Go ahead, try again. Go find someone else. Good, good, good. You guys ready? Did you guys lose a ball underneath there? These things happen. Oh, that's way under there, huh? Yes, we'll get it later. All right, and hold up. Hold up, you guys. All right, so here's what I'm going to need. Do you guys see the red and the green cones out there? All right, so here's what I need. Red players, and there's a lot of you, okay? But typically, I wouldn't run a session with 10 kids on a cone. So again, why do kids come to practice? To have fun, but what else do you like to do? Learn how to play soccer. Learn how to play soccer, run around, play, games. Get, play some games, get some energy out, right? So if I have a ton of lines, if I have a lot of people in line, is that going to happen? No. How do you learn a skill, you guys? Repetition, 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 right? So if you have lines that have like six kids in them, are they getting repetition? No, no they're not. So we have to make sure that we're setting up activities where a lot of repetition occurs. So with this, I would typically have this set up a couple diamonds, depending on how many kids I had, okay? So you guys, bear with, if we were outside on the field that's covered in three feet of snow, I would have multiple of these set up, okay? So red players, here's what I need. You see the red cones? those hot spots that Prince was so nice to let me use. I need you to guys to split yourselves up. There's four of them. Go ahead. Ready? Go. This one needs one. Now, blue players, I need you guys on the green cones. So go ahead. Good. Good job. Good job. Hey, you guys, there's only two people down there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, what do we think? Are we evenly split? It's close enough. Hey, can one of you guys who's in blue down there, how about this over here? Split up. One of you come over here. One of you in blue, come on over here. Don't be afraid. One of you in blue, come on over here. You're going to move anyways. There you go. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate that. Keep coming. It's all right. No, keep coming. Now we have even numbers. All right. 
So here's what's going to happen, you guys. If you have a ball here, I want you to push it back against the bleachers. If you guys have a ball over there, I want you to push it back against the bleachers. You guys keep yours. You don't have any, so it doesn't matter. Blue, do you guys know what clockwise means in the digital age? Do we know what clockwise? Say it in the red. Which way is clockwise? Kudos to your parents. No, you're right. All right, so blue, you guys are going in this direction. So your ball is going to go that way. So make sure blue stays with blue. And because you have, do me a favor, because you have red on, go put a blue on so I can keep you on the blue team because I know that's where you want to be. So you're going to pass there first, OK? Red, you guys are going counterclockwise that way. All right, so here's how it works. What's your name? Annie? Yeah. Annie, what's your name? First in line, yeah, you. Cameron, Annie's going to pass to Cameron. Go ahead, you ready, Annie? Go ahead, pass to Cameron. Go ahead, Cameron, come to it. Annie, go ahead, get down in that line. Cameron, you're going to go that way. Simon, to pass to Simon. Just pass to Simon. Simon, you're going to pass that way. Go ahead. And then Simon, follow. Go get in that line. Go ahead. Good. Now red, which way are you going? You ready? Go. Start it. Go ahead. Keep going. Yep. Keep going. Maddie, go this way. Right there. And then Maddie, come on down here and get in this line. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you guys typically again, now hold. So here's what starts to happen. Is the game of soccer congested? Yeah. It hold up, hold up, hold up. I would whistle, but I'd make everyone deaf in here if I do that. So here's the thing. Is the game of soccer sometimes congested? Yeah, it's organized chaos, is it not? And far too often what I see when I go and I watch a lot of youth games is an adult standing on the sideline playing chess. Who's the game about? Them. They're the ones that have to make the decisions on the field. And it's interesting because before I started this, I mentioned to a coach, I said, what do you think? What should we cover? And coach's response was decision making. But if you as coaches, me as a coach too, if we're sitting on the sidelines playing chess, you need to go there, Sam go there, Maddie go there, Jack do this, all that, is decision making occurring? No, it's not, okay? So the best game, the best teacher of the game is the game itself. Let them play and let them figure stuff out. So now, right in here, where are you gonna pass the ball? Where are you gonna pass the ball? Good, go ahead. Now, if it's super, pass it, not dribble. If it's super congested, what do you naturally do? Do you stand behind the crowd or do you move? Exactly, but did I ever say to him, you have to move? Let the game be the teacher. Let them figure some stuff out. If I'm constantly playing chess, I'm not a chess player, but if I'm constantly doing the thinking for them, then decision making is not going to occur come game day. So what happens if the run practice five times happens and they're not doing it? So they don't yeah. And that's where we end up saying at this point, go ahead, whose ball is up? What's your name? Cooper. Cooper. So Cooper, you came to practice to play with the ball, right? Yeah. Can you see Andrew right now? Yeah. You can. Can you receive it then? If you're back over here, come on over here, Cooper. Move this way, move this way, move this way, move this way. All right, and Andrew keeps passing the ball into here. What did we do in our warm-up, you guys? What did we talk about in our warm-up? Um, Body positioning, using names, and eye contact. So now if Andrew tries to pass the ball to Cooper and Cooper's hanging out back there, all I have to say is, Andrew, did you see Cooper? And Andrew goes, no. And I said, Cooper, did you see Andrew? And he goes, no. And then I say, Cooper, find Andrew, find Cooper. Andrew, find Cooper. Cooper, find Andrew. Go. OK. So in the warm-up, so many times we get to a field and it's this. This is our warm-up. That's not the warm-up. Okay, that's movement prep. The warm up is designing an activity that's going to lead to the points you want to emphasize in your practice. So here's the next part. 
How many practices a week do you have with your kids? Like one? If you're lucky, two, right? And if you're really lucky, you have like 50 by 50 yards to work with, right? If you're lucky. So now, come game day, you have one game a week, right? What do you emphasize in the game? So now, during my one practice that I've been so lucky to have, and we're talking about U10 development. We're not talking about winning, okay? We're talking about development, long-term development. So in my practice session, if I worked on passing and receiving and finding space, what am I looking for successfully come game day? Passing and receiving, looking for space. Okay, I don't care what the score is. I don't care about any of that. I don't care how many shots on goal we had. I don't care about any of that stuff. Come game day, developmentally, I'm looking at the kids who could have gotten lost 10 to nothing, but guess what? They're passing and receiving, percentage-wise, was spot on. That's success. It's development, okay? Now, am I going to do that come game day with our team? Absolutely not. Okay, I'm going to look at it with these guys and say, we worked on passing and receiving for two sessions. Guess what our goal of today's game is? Passing and receiving. Okay? Body language. So if I go into a game and I'm watching Andrew and Andrew is working with Cooper and Andrew's body language is like this out wide, me, being me, am I, going to give, am I going to give Andrew props for this? No. I'm going to say, Andrew, you need to see Cooper. Here. So my belly button needs to see you. OK? Now this is success come game day because it's developmental. OK? As we move up, sure, everyone wants to win. That's why we're coaches. We have a competitive side to us. But at this level, development. Are we ready to try this again? Because usually I do this with only like five people on each side. So I'm stepping out on a Stepping out on a limb here with chaos. All right, you guys ready to go? You remember what you're doing? Pass, move, go. Ready? Play. Go ahead. Go ahead, come to it. Open up. Now, which way do you go? No, no, no. Hey. Which way are you going there, sunshine? Hold on, hold on. Blue, blue, blue. Which way are you guys going? Go back that way. Ready? Go. Red, keep going. Red, keep going. Good. Simon, where are you going? Maddie, where are you going? Maddie, where are you passing? There he is. He's all ready. He's doing jumping jacks waiting for you. I love that. Ready? Keep going. Uh-oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Red, you keep going. Red, keep going. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Jason, come here. Come here. You, come here. Yes, you, come here. No, not you, you. Jason, come here. Red, keep going. Red, keep going. Red, keep going. Look, she's just going to clean it all up for you. Did you see him down there? Did you make eye contact? No. No? How about we make eye contact next time? All right, go ahead. You do it. All right, now, keep going, Red. Keep going. All right, so hold. Let me give you guys a couple pointers. Okay, first, if I want to move in that direction, okay? So, first of all, where do you have more surface area of your foot, you guys? Is it here? Where is it? Here, right? So if I want to receive a ball, play me the ball. If I want to receive a ball, what's a nice surface to, to, to receive with? The inside of the foot, correct? You'll use outside of the foot and everything else as you get older, but how about we develop the, the, the basic stuff before we look for something advanced? Now, if I want to move a ball that way, what makes more sense? This or, play me the ball, front foot, opening up this way so I can play there. What makes more sense, you guys? Yeah, opening up, right? And even at U10s, can we get this? We absolutely can. One more time. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep moving it around. Pass. Make eye contact. Receive. 
Okay, now also red, keep going, keep going. Also in this pattern, what we're starting to develop too in this pattern is height, width, and depth. Keep going. So in the game of soccer, we want to talk about height, width, and depth. Great job, kiddo. Good job. Open it up across your body. Now, what are you looking for? What do you see? Good job. All right, all eyes on you. Did you do it? Find your, find it, find it. Hey, well done. Isn't that what we just talked about? That's what we just talked about, right? Did you look up? Did you find your teammate? That's what we talked about. Give me a high five. Good job. Keep going. Couple more. Couple more. Then we're going to play. Go ahead. Keep going. Find it. Find it. Whoop. Oh, these things happen. Go ahead. Keep playing. Couple more. Hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was brilliant. Can you do that again? Bring this back. Can I have that ball? Can I have the ball? So what did I say before when we broke last time? What did I say? It's a really good surface to receive with. What did you just do? That was just so, uh, you did two things, three things actually, that was absolutely brilliant. First of all, where did you start? You started back over there actually, right? Then you came this way. Look at your body positioning. Did I ever say anything to him? No. Look at this. I play in here. He re now, look at what he's doing. We're talking about speed of play without talking about speed of play to 10-year-olds, right? Did you see what he did? Received and looked up. Nice job, coach. All right, so now, right in here, now he's ready to attack forward with one touch. Did you notice where his next touch was? So he receives the ball. You need to do this whole thing again. And it's on camera too. So you ready? Start there, come down here. So he shows to the ball, opens up, boom. Where's his next touch? Up. That was absolutely brilliant. I love that. That's a great job. Now, can we do this for one more minute? And then, yeah, you can clap for him, you know, because that's not easy. Be confident. That was awesome. I love it. All right, so now, Red, I'm going to mess you guys up. You're going the other way. Blue, Maddie, you're going this way. All right? You guys ready to go? Go ahead. One more time. Good job, kiddo. Oh, there we go. A little spin move inside. I love it. Where are you going? Come this way. Go that way. I love it. Good job, Ronaldo. Ah, brilliant. Keep going. Keep going. And I'll give you guys a little tip in a second. All right. You don't have to dribble around the back, dear. That's a beautiful job. Hey, where are you going? It's this way. You missed the memo. You missed the text message. It's going this way. That's it. Good job. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're just going to let it go. All right. So you guys, listen, without even saying, by complimenting, who is the, who is the young man I compliment? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I love it. So give me the ball. If no one else wants to do it, give me the ball. I like that. All right. So by, just keep going, you guys. So just by complimenting him, did you see now how many times Red is wanting to receive front foot, get open, see the ball, push into space? So like there. Brilliant. Play front foot, push into space. Play front foot, push into space. Now look at what's happening with Red, right? So did I go and tell every single kid, did we get into a line and say push into space? By complimenting one or two kids, catching them being good, look at what's happening without actually coaching everything. Now, Blue, it's your turn. You can do it. Brilliant. Love it. Keep going. Ready? Money's on you, big man. I love it. Love it. See how his eyes are up? He's looking. I love it. Go ahead. 
Eyes up, right there. Again, good stuff. Not me. Look forward. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. I love it. Look at all this that's going on with the eyes up. Oh, that's brilliant, Maddie. Nice job, kiddo. Come on. Go ahead. Keep going. I love it. All right, and hold up, you guys. Hold up, and then we're going to play in a second. But here's the thing. So now we're also talking about diamond shape, OK? So if I'm our center back, without talking about positions, all right, if I'm in this part of the field, we always want to make sure that we have height, which is Maddie up there, and we have our width over here, right? So now all I have to do is say to, say to the kids, hey, Diamond shape, OK? Does a bird have a head, a tail, and wings? Most of them do, right? So now what we need to have is this shape as much as possible. I should have options. So rather than me sitting there saying, hey, you got to get wide, you got to have options, 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 you know, you need to do this and create space. Instead, it's like, think about your diamond shape. There you go. Think about shape. And then hopefully when we get playing in a second, this is going to all come about. My fingers crossed. I have no idea what's going to happen. All right? You guys want to try it? Here's the last thing to passing. And this is what I want to see for blue. And try to play around with the verbiage that you use. So if you say trapping, what does trap imply? Stop. Right? In the game of soccer, other than the kick off a penalty kick or restart, how much does the ball stop? doesn't really stop a lot. And when we talk about speed of play, do we want the ball to stop? No. So try to, try to challenge yourself with instead of saying trap, try to think receive. Because you're going to receive with your chest, your thigh, the inside of the foot, outside of the foot, bottom of the foot, shoulder, head, everything, right? So try to think receive, OK? Not trap. Just give it a try and see what happens, all right? Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let you guys go one more time, and I want to see how many little things we can pick up on. So come game day, I can say to Andrew, where's Andrew? Where'd you go? I can say to Andrew, come game day, Andrew, in practice, I worked, we worked really hard on you looking up and finding your options. You did it six times today. Great job. Now Andrew leaves the field feeling good about himself, right? He doesn't worry about the three times he missed the goal. Instead, he's looking at it saying, I did what coach wanted me to do today. Awesome job. And now is he more inclined to go home and juggle in the basement or in the backyard? Yeah, because he left feeling positive, OK? Now, you guys ready to go? We're going to pass one more time, and I don't care which direction it goes. Ready? Go. And I want to pick up on, let's see, inside of the foot, push into space. Brilliant. Look at this. I love it. Find your options. Good. Where do you see space? Good. Good. I love it. Give me one more. Give me one more. I love it. Did you guys pick up on something with blue here? What do you think of blue right now? How much better has this gotten? I think so. What do you think? I think it's great. Right? 1% is better every single time, right? You don't have to go and make these huge strides in practice. 1% over 30 days is 30% better. That's pretty darn good. Now, Maddie, what could fix that? What could you do better? What could you do better? Could you tell him the ball's coming? Yeah, you could, right? What's his name? Connor. Right? So you could say, Connor, ball, right? Yeah, you could, exactly. So now Connor knows it's coming, right? Yeah, exactly. Or whatever. What's your name? I, do you know, dude, there's like 50 of you here. I can't remember all, I promise. I promise. I'll get it. What's your name again? Just put Carter. Carter. Just Okay, I got it. Good job, you guys. 
All right, you ready for your last one? I want to see something amazing. Who's got something creative for me? Come on. I like that right there. That works. A little behind the foot. Here we go. Excellent job. Excellent job. Give me a little flare. Give me a little, all right, I love it. All right, hold on. There we go. I like it. Nice job. Good. A young man who's not afraid to play with the ball. I absolutely love it. If you trip on it 20 times and get it the 21st, I'm proud of you. All right, hold up. Hold up. Now, when you guys are passing, there's some of you who are trying to pass the ball looking this way, that way. Or looking this way, you're trying to pass the ball that way. So everyone look down at their big toe on your left foot. If my left foot is facing the direction I want to pass, the ball will go there most of the time. If I'm trying to do this to pass there and swing across my body, it's going to end up going that way. Or, all right, save it for when you get older. You'll learn how to do that stuff. But for right now, the toe faces the direction of which I want to pass. All right, I need five blue players and I need five red players right here. Ready, go. Now this is the way it should be, right? So this is absolutely the way it should be. So you were one, two, three, four, five. You guys were here first. The rest of you go sit down. You can go visit Coach over there. He's kind of lonely on the bleachers. Oh, oh, he's all by himself. All right, you hustled in. Nice job. You hustled in. You were first here. You hustled in, and you were here. All right, the rest of the blues go sit down, and we will, now you guys, you all got to sit together, your team, sit together. All right, so now here's what's going to happen. We're going to play 5v5, blue against red, and it's just going to be possession, right? What do you guys, again, what do you think I'm looking for? What are, passing and receiving, right? So when we receive a ball, what am I going to look for specifically? Space. Finding space, I love that. Tell me a little bit more about the body positioning. Look where I'm passing. Now, if I'm looking this way and I'm on your team, is this good positioning for me? No. This comes in later in the game. But for what I'm asking you for to do right now is I'm asking you to play defeat. This is where I got to be, right? Yes. So that's what we're looking for. You guys got that? All right. So, Maddie, if I'm standing this way, are you going to pass me the ball? No. You going to pass me the ball? Yes. Okay. Brilliant. You guys ready to go? All right, now, you sure? All right, you guys ready to go? Play. Just possess. Oh, now hold. What works a little bit better? Passing. Just that right there. This is going to come in later because you're, I can tell. You're going to be a skillful little young man. All right, you ready to go? Blue, play. Keep going, you guys. So now, what's the inclination that all of us want to do right now as coaches? What do we want to do? Like, seriously, as coach, be honest. What do you guys want to do right now? Right. This is what we want to do, right? We want to jump in. We want to jump in and be like, hold up, right? And we want to spread them all out. Let them go for a couple minutes, right? Let them go. Let them figure some stuff out. See, as a coach, What's the patterns that are starting to happen? Is one kid, so this kid in number 22, in red, do you see how he's trying to keep some distance? It's Connor, Andrew, sorry. Forget my own name sometimes. So do you see where he's trying to keep height? But we gotta do a little bit better. It's all right, keep going, I love it. Trying the outside of the foot pass, I'll go with it. Okay, keep going. All right, hold. Andrew, get back here. I absolutely loved what you just did. What did you see in front of you? What did you see? Space, right? The game of soccer is how to find space. That's what the game of soccer is all about. Red. There is no, how tired are all of you right now? Because you're sprinting all over the place, 
right? Someday in this world, you will learn the difference between working hard versus working smart. And right now, we're working hard, but how about we work smart? So Andrew sees space, so he goes into it. What did you just do five minutes ago with regards to your warm-up? Do we have height, width, and depth? What could occur that would make this so much harder? What could you do? Depth. So you go, height. Stay there. What could you do better? <laughs> what could you do better? Yes. What could you? Love this. Right? So now, do you see this space that's occurring? How, what's the fastest way to get him the ball? Go that way. Or if there's back off, then go that way. Or got these options. Oh, my gosh. Or, or, or. That was awesome, right? So you attack space like you did. Go ahead. What does everyone on the red team want to do as Andrew does this? What did all of you just do? Y'all went this way, correct? All right, so when you have the ball, find space. When you're defending it, take space away, okay? We're not talking about defending. That's a whole different ball of wax. So you ready? Play. All right. You guys, hold up. Bring it on back with Andrew. Andrew, come on back here. Let's make Andrew just like a rock star today. Okay, so Andrew, I love how you're attacking space. This is absolutely brilliant. But we want to get the ball up to what's your name over there? Connor. Connor? I'll get him someday. All right, so now, what's the best way to get the ball to Connor? Um, you ready? What do we see? Boom, space. boom. Yeah, you ready? Go ahead, take it. Now, hold right there. What just occurred? Now, what are you doing? You're killing it, right? So where's our depth now? Where's the tail of the bird? We don't have one. Got to get back here, right? Where are you going? Where was your first step as he went forward? That way, right? Now, can you do this? Now, can you see him better? Absolutely. Go ahead. I, and here's the other thing, too. Do you see how Andrew wants to go forward and dribble, dribble, dribble? If I'm calling him back constantly, what's that going to do for his desire to dribble? At U10. It's going to crush it, right? Now, what's one of the biggest criticisms of U.S. soccer today? The lack of creativity with first person attacking. So if I get on Andrew's case by being like, no, Andrew, you have to pass, you have to pass, you have to pass, and I'm pulling him back, I'm killing that at 10 years old. I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to show him options, and sooner or later, he's going to get it. Okay? But don't take away that creativity. Blue, what do we have? Indoor soccer is what we have. Whoop. Good. I like it. Keep going. Okay, hold. Red, talk to me about your spacing. Pretty tight, huh? What can we do height with depth? Go. Height with depth. Find it. How great is that? All we did was talk about height with depth. That was it. I didn't say, you got to pull here, you got to pull here. They did it instinctually. Height with depth. Do we have a tail? Where's the tail of our bird? can be here, and then if this is our tail, where's our wings? The ball, and over here, where's our head? Up there. We got it? That looks brilliant, you guys. All right? Go ahead, play one more, and then I want to switch so we can get this moving on. Oh, I love it. Love it. All right, and hold. Let's bring that ball back on blue. This is awesome, too. You get the ball on your feet, you start dribbling. Now, what did all of blue just do? Put the ball back on his foot. What's your name again? Simon, right? I was, see, I got it. I got one name today. Maddie, got another one. All right, so Simon does a great job of winning the ball. What does everyone do on blue? You guys are all like here, right? Right, you bunched up. 
What's a better idea? What do you think? Right out. Show me where you'd go. Uh, back there. Go. Where would you go? Back there. You want to go there, or where else do you see another spot? Where do you see a lot of space? Go there. Awesome. Do we have a wing? Are we missing something? That was awesome. All right. So do you guys see now how the field just spread out? Do you feel a little bit more comfortable with this, Simon? What are you going to do with the ball? We want to get it to that end line as quickly as possible. How are you going to do it? Go. Ready? Go. Get back here, Simon. We got to have success with you. Come on. Come on. Come over here with me. Where do you need to be? All right, you ready? Come on, Simon. Success today. Where are you going to go? Where do you see someone? Where do you see two people? OK. Do you like their body language, too? Don't you dare cheat. Get over here where you were, right there. Where do you see two people with awesome body language? How can the ball get there fast? The fastest way the ball can get there. Pass. You ready? Go. Brilliant. All right, and hold. So body language for you two on the sidelines, awesome job. OK? Listen, here's what we're going to do. Because you guys have been waiting, I want to switch out the reds, switch out the blues. Let's go. Let's give you guys a shot. We have two minutes. Now, you guys have been studying for the last three minutes. Let's see what awesomeness you guys can do. All right? So you've been studying hard? You've been watching your teammates? Did they do a good job? All right? Red, you guys have been watching? All right, let's do it. Play. No, who do you see? Who do you see? Red, I thought you said you've been watching. Oh, I love it. Okay, hold, 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 hold. So now you guys, Red, you guys have been studying for the last five minutes watching your teammates do this, right? So what do all you do the second he gets the ball? Y'all just ran forward, right? You guys watch any soccer on TV? I do. You do? Awesome. OK. I love it. Start watching more. OK. So now he wins the ball. Put the ball back on his feet. OK. What did all of you do? You just went forward. What did you do so beautifully? You dropped into space and supported, right? So I never went into first attacker, second attacker, third attacker, the role of each. The first to create, to, to make something happen, to get the first defender to bite. The second for support. The third to unbalance. Did I talk about any of that? No, because at U10, that's going to go this way. Instead, what did you just do when he received the ball? You dropped out and created depth. That's a second attacker. That's absolutely beautiful. What is, should he do over here? Instead of just taking off, where should he start his run? Out here, right? This is your third attacker, unbalance the defense. Does this make any sense to them? No. But what matters is I need you to come over here and create some space. Now, is this harder on them? It's way harder, right? You got it? So we have our height, our width, our depth, our support in the middle, and our support depth. All right, go ahead, play. One more minute. Let's find something good to end on. Watch those pennies. Good, good, good. What do we have over there? Oh, 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 there it is. Good, good, good. Blue, what do we got to do? What do we got to do? Love it. Good effort. Let's find one more thing. 
Red, what are we talking about on our spacing? Red, spacing. Spacing. Get your shape, get your shape, Red. Drop down, drop down, drop down. Can you see him? Can you see him? Can you see him? Good. Good. All right, and hold. So how did we solve that? Space. OK? So instead of me saying, what's your name again? And I shouldn't, Cooper. Gosh, Cooper, I'm so sorry. You've said it four times today. So instead of saying to Cooper, Cooper, get Y, drop, do all this, instead, it's Cooper, can you see him? And Cooper's like, no. Cooper, can you see him? Yes. OK? So now, Cooper is successful by simply me just saying, can you see him? Did I say that about 45 minutes ago in the warm-up? Exactly. So instead of getting into get your width, get your heels on the sideline, do this, do that, do this, Cooper, can you see him? OK? There we go. All right? You guys all need to come out here. You guys all need to come out here. And I need you guys in a straight line. You see this green line? I need you guys in a straight line on that green line. What? Get on the green line. Here's a, this green line. You guys, it goes all the way down there to that. Oh, I'm close. Get on that green line. There we go. So you got to, you guys, you can intermix the colors. So, okay. So now what I need for you guys to do is I need you to look at these people. Okay. You see the camera? I need for you guys to look at the camera and wave at it. There you go. All right. So you guys, listen, these guys were up instead of sitting at home playing FIFA. They're here to help you guys get better. So can you guys give them a round of applause? <laughs> All right, now, here's what I need for you to do. You got to come here. Follow me. Give me. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Now you follow me. Keep following. Keep following. Keep following. Shake the next guy. Good job. Keep following, keep following. Nice job, you guys. Good job. No, you got to do all of them. You worked with those guys. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. We got one more minute. Good job, good job, good job. All right, then you guys, come on in here. I got a question. So he, you we're almost done. So here's another thing, coaches, at the end of your session, when we're just, hopefully we're doing a little bit of stretching at the end, okay? But when we do our stretching at the end, that's a great time to be like, what did we learn today? What did, I need three things. Go. Passing, receiving, and finding space. Passing, receiving, finding space. That's all three. All right. You can't look at anyone off the hook, though. So when you guys are receiving, Tell me about the body language when you guys are receiving. Go. With like my belly button too, right? So I could be doing this, right? How about this? This will come in later in the game. Okay? Go. That's awesome. Good job. You can put your hand where you want the ball. Show it, right? Right. Because people are sometimes are visual learners too, and I need to see it here. Good job. What else? I need one more thing. Go. Passing either to space or feet. Depends on the situation, right? But yes, what did we work on today? Pass to where? Feet. To feet, right? Good job. What did we talk about with the surface to receive with? Ready. Inside of the foot. Will you receive with other surfaces? Yes, but today we we're talking inside of the foot. So now if we go to play, when we go to play our game, say we guys were playing tomorrow, what would I evaluate you on? How you pass and receive, correct? Exactly. That's it. You guys got it? Ready? Bring it in here. What do we want to say? WFC. No, because there's them too. Uh, we are best. It. We are best. Soccer. Soccer. Okay. Ready? Soccer. What hand do you use? Left or right? Right. I'm doing right. No, use your left. It's closer to your heart. See how the crest for your shirt and your club is on your left? That's why it's there. All right? You guys ready? Soccer on three. One, two, three. Soccer! <laughs>